So this is a power chair by Merit. This is the Dueler. Dueler means it's a back wheel drive chair, but could be changed to a front wheel drive chair. And I'll show you that in just a second. This is back wheel drive. Power chairs come back wheel drive, center wheel, or front. And they really kind of have a purpose. Um, the center wheels are a little bit tighter turning. The back wheels are a little bit better outside. And the front wheels are really extreme tight turning. So maybe get over a little bit of a thresh better. But this is the Dueler with the elevated seat, I believe up to five inches. So it could benefit a, in a lot of different ways. One, if someone's having trouble getting into the chair, and they're taller or having problems getting into the chair, you can put this wherever, it goes up to five inches. You can get into it like this, and then if you have a problem getting out, it helps you get out. So kind of like a, lift chair that we sell with the straight up uh, lifting capabilities. Now, issue, so this is like, these are lift chairs. So the lift chairs tend to all come this way, but sometimes people want this change to a vertical uplift and that's what this chair can do. We can change this, well, this is setback. Um, so just cut that out, I guess. But these chairs can go into a vertical up. So that's why you would buy that. That, or it helps you get stuff that's maybe in your cabinets, maybe where you're cooking. So if you're cooking, you can kind of be here, cook, you're standing up, and then if you have to sit back down, it's right here for you. So those are some reasons why you'd buy it. Now, there's a lot of chairs out there with, with the lift or the rise, the Jazzy Air 2, um, some other ones, but this one's kind of small and compact. It's not overly big from front to back um, with the foot plate down. It looks like it's about, about 43 inches in length. Um, but here's, a, here's another reason why you would buy it. Let's say that you have a narrow bathroom, okay? And you're able to get into the bathroom um, so to turn that off, you press this button, just real quick. So you press that, now you can drive it. Um, let's say you have a narrow bathroom. Let me go show you a bathroom. Roger, let me go show a bathroom. Let me, let me show people why. Now this will be a little bit slower in this up position. So if you need that speed, bring it all the way back down um, and then you can get your control with your speeds. But let's go into this bathroom. It's uh, pretty, I guess you could call it a narrow bathroom. But this would be the reason why you would buy it. I'm gonna lower this back down. All right, so you're at home and you have a narrow bathroom and you know, I would probably be in the front wheel drive mode because the turning radius will be right here instead of back here. Um, but let's say I had to get into here and for transfer it to the toilet or the shower, but now I can't, I'm not, I don't have enough room to turn it. Now this one we probably can. There's a lever on this side. Okay. I can come back around like so. Then I would put this foot plate down. I would probably pull that one up before it. And now it's a front wheel drive chair. So that is one of the reasons why I like this chair. And you can see now the turning rate is is at the front, okay? It's at the front. So let me explain that really quick to you. Let's say you have a doorway right here and I wanna make a left turn and I'm set at front wheel drive. Well, now I'll come to the door and I can start making my move in, okay? Let's say this is set at back wheel drive. Let me flip this back around. Let's say that's the door. I would come to the door, like th through the side to get my back wheels to the door opening. That's the door opening. And then I would make my turn in. That's how you would learn how to drive one of these with the back wheel. Now, note why not to buy this if you're short. If you're shorter, if you're, you know, 5'1", five, 5'2", five, maybe 5'3", maybe shorter than that, short legs. 
The reason for it, since this has the elevated seat, this is at 20, almost 23 inches from the floor to the seat height. So I just want to throw that out there to you. If you don't know what that means, sit at ch any chair that you have in your house. See if someone or you can measure from the floor to the seat height. And if you find a chair that's easy to get out of and maybe it's 20, 19 inches, you, then you, this is, or 22, 23 inches too high, then you might want to be a little worried about buying this chair because hopping up into it could be an issue or getting out of it, your feet might be an issue. So just keep that in mind. There's other chairs out there. These arms are adjustable in height. They're adjustable in width and they are flip back. You do have a swivel seat, but it's not a full swivel. Well, it goes all the way around because you can change it. Um, it's got a decent high ground clearance, really strong motors. So this thing's going to be able to perform in your yard and also work inside your house because you can flip it over to the front wheel drive for inside your house for tight turning. And when you go outside, you put it on the back wheel drive. So there's a lot of things that you can use this chair for. And that's why we like the Dueler by Merit. So it's the P312 in the search bar, P312. It should pop this right up or Dueler. Um, if you have any questions, you can give us a call at 803-926-2224. Visit us online at affordablemedicalusa.com. Thank you and have a great day.